trainer fund is so fundamental to the young riders' development. It gives them the opportunity to move abroad and chase their dreams to become a professional cyclist. I never had the good fortune to meet Dave Rayner, um, but I know that the people who are working on his legacy have the best interests of the sport and the best interests of the athletes at heart. Seeing all the uh, young guys coming through and trying to get to the level at where I'm at and this is what this night is, it's all about supporting them. 36 riders this year that the fund has looked after and it's proven its worth more and more every year. It's a very special evening tonight and uh, hopefully people will dig deep and raise some good money. A very warm welcome to you all on this uh, special night here in Leeds. It's the uh, lead social event of the cycling calendar. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's, it's such a big event in the cycling world. It's fabulous sort of looking at the Illumini and on the women's side as well now. I think there's, there's quite a lot of girls. Hannah Barnes is one that springs to mind. Nikki Bramier as well that, that have had Dave Rayner funding that are now professionals. <laughs> The atmosphere tonight has just been amazing. Cycling is quite a community of people and everyone comes here tonight. 22, once, he makes it, 2200 pounds, table 12, I need two more bits. That is what I like. Is that an international call? 2500 pounds we have! Fantastic. Table 12, say well. I love the fact that you have the full age range of people in the room. Right from the president of the fund, Brian Robinson, the first Briton to win a stage of the Tour de France, through British cyclists, British champions, Olympic champions, all the way down to the riders who are being funded now. And maybe some riders are hoping to be funded in the future because they can see what these people have achieved and it gives them the incentive to know that it can be done. I look back at the fund now and I think they were the best two years of my cycling career to date. If I could do it for another year, I could do it for the rest of my life, I would. As an athlete, it's very important to be taken out of your comfort zone. And by going and racing in places like Belgium, France and Spain, uh, that's what happens to the Rainer Fund riders and that's why they improve and that's why so many of them have gone to greater things. There's the postal crypt and you turn up to your local one like 10 miles away and there'll be Mariana Voss. So you're racing against Mariana Voss, which is just such a learning curve. The payment every month has given me the opportunity to ride a bike, but also given me the opportunity to meet some amazing people, which no matter what, good or bad, has helped me progress in life, basically. And I'm sort of eternally really grateful to the fun. Dave is literally somebody who I wanted to be, and I decided at 19 years of age I was going to take the step and try and do what he did. So everything that, everything that the fund is, is doing is absolutely huge to me. You know, I couldn't be behind it anymore. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. Your 2017 Rider of the Year, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Orlos.